The Kabir celebration known as the Festival of Sacrifice at the second of two great Muslim festivals and the president, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, is using the occasion to call on Nigerians to be committed to the development of the country, describing it as a form of sacrifice to the nation. Speaking after the Ida Kabir prayers at the Dodan Barracks in Lagos, the president said some level of sacrifice will be required to move the nation forward. Senior correspondent Adedoja Salam Adini reports. The Feast of Sacrifice is a major Islamic celebration worldwide. Joining President Tinubu at the Dodon Barracks Ikoyi Eid Ground, where his Chief of Staff, National Security Advisor, Deputy Governor of Lagos State, among others. Chief Imam of Lagos says, Idel Kabir is an occasion to celebrate the willingness of Prophet Ibrahim to sacrifice his son, Ismail, in submission to Allah's command. As we celebrate Eid al Adha, let us run all out of indiscipline, hate speech, violence, terrorism to ensure peaceful coexistence and progress of, of our nation, Nigeria. In his message, President Nubu called on Nigerians to draw lessons from the Prophet's examples by working for the unity of the country and love their neighbors. Sacrifice being a very good citizen. It comes with responsibilities as citizens. What do you do as a citizen to be a very committed uh, member of our society? That is sacrifice. Loving your country. Loving your neighbors. Share what we have with each other and be thankful to Almighty God. That's all. Idil Kabir, the festival of sacrifice, marks the end of Hajj pilgrimage to Mecca by millions of Muslims around the world. It's about patience in trying periods, persistence in prayers, and tenacity in faith, just like Prophet Ibrahim, alayhi salam. Adedoja, Salam Adeniyi, TVC News, Lagos. Also, the Vice President, Kashim Shatima, is in Maiduguri, the Borno State capital, and he is calling on Nigerians to pray for peace and economic prosperity of the country. Senior reporter, Jesse Tafida, has details in this report. <laughs> The two record prayers observed in Maiduguri under a peaceful atmosphere. Nigeria's Vice President, Senator Kashim Shetima, joined Muslims across the world to observe the prayers. Berno State Deputy Governor Umar Usman Kadafur, Shewo of Berno Abubakar Ibn Umar Garbe al Kanami, and other top government officials are also present at the Ramat Square Eid Prayer Ground. The vice president, shortly after the prayers, had a brief session with newsmen. We urge Nigerians to pray for the peace in the land and for prosperity. And this is the agricultural season. We hope and pray that we'll get a bumper harvest that will address some of the food security challenges we are facing. Beyond that, we want to emphasize on peace. We have to cultivate peace. We have to promote peace. Because there can never be development without peace, and there can never be peace without development. They have to go on party party basis. So we have to rally our people to unite as a people and face our common challenges and avoid grandstanding. In the same vein, the state deputy governor, Umar Usman Kadafu, while speaking to journalists, wants residents of the state to support government at all levels and unite for the progress of the country. I also want to invite all Muslims to be peace abiding and uh, uh, they should uh, use this uh, moment as a point of reflection to visit each other and pray for each other and pray for this nation because uh, this is what we need at this point of time. Young and old who came out in their numbers are hopeful the country's economic challenges will soon be a thing of the past.
Jesse Tafida, TVC News, Maiduguri. Now, despite the challenging economic situation in the country, Muslim faithful across the northwest states happily marked the 2024 Ida Kabir festival. The Islamic fist of sacrifice, the need to deeply reflect on the lessons of the celebration, which include sacrifice, love, peace and harmony, was echoed by governors and Islamic clerics. Lupe Assam compiled this report. The early morning rain in some northwest states was seen as a sign of blessing as Muslim faithful marked the Islamic Feast of Sacrifice. The festival honors Prophet Ibrahim's selflessness and willingness to sacrifice his son in obedience to God. In commemoration of this, a ram is usually slaughtered. In Kaduna, Governor Obasani observed the Eid prayers alongside other Muslim faithful at Swatambelo Mosque. After the prayer, the governor urged the people to pray for the continued peace enjoyed in the state and in Nigeria at large. I'm also aware that uh, a lot of people in this country are making a lot of sacrifices, supporting our government, supporting our president, President Bola Metinubu. I want to assure our people that uh, certainly and definitely there will be light at the end of the tunnel. We know what Mr. President is doing at the national level. We know the effort he's making. And I have no doubt in my mind it's a matter of time. Residents of Kano State celebrated Idel Kabir by gathering at various mocks for the two rakat prayers. The 15th and 16th emirs of Kano, Aminu Bayero and Mohamed Senussi II, prayed at different mosques within the state. Governor Abba Yusuf, who prayed at Kofar Mata Mosque with the 16th emir, called for calm and prayers for the state's peace. The government of Kano State is doing everything possible to protect their lives as well as the poor vibes. So I want to urge all Muslim Burma to remain calm and to be able to love one another. Deputy Senate President Barao Jubri, who prayed at Kabul, urged Nigeria to support President Bola Tinubu's administration for the country's development. Uh, he's doing his best and his team. Uh, we should continue to give him support. Muslims in Katsina celebrated Eid al-Kabir peacefully as some people managed to buy sacrificial animals due to its high price. Worshippers gathered for prayers, seeking Allah's favor and solutions to national problems. The chief imam emphasized repentance and lawfulness. Worshippers noted the impact of economic hardship on the festivities. The Salah celebration is going smoothly, but people complain of the price of all these things that are needed, from the rams, from the clothing and all these things. One thing was common across all prayer grounds in the region. The need for peace and tolerance was preached. Lupe Asom, TVC News, Kaduna. Well, let's cross over to Sokoto State, where the Sultan Mohammed Saad Abu Bakr is appealing to the government at all levels to find a lasting solution to the economic and security challenges the country is faced with. The Sultan made the call during his Salah message when thousands of Muslim Ummah paid him homage. He said the rise in security challenges have limited the productivity of farmers, especially in the northwest region, where banditry is on the rise. He pleaded with Nigerians to support the government's efforts and programs, as well as cooperate with security agencies in the bid to restore normalcy in the country. Uh, uh, we keep evil, keep glory to Almighty uh, for giving us the opportunity to, to, to see this opportunity, to see this uh, time. Uh, even uh, Kabir, and um, you know, uh, like we have done in the constituency, we keep pleading with uh, Nigerians to keep praying. You know, uh, the situation uh, is very hard. Like people are complaining that uh, they have never seen a salah like the one they have seen this year, where food very expensive, even the rams to make sacrifices are not there. But um, we have hope, and we keep. Believing that by the grace of Almighty Allah, you know, uh, things will change and uh, inshallah they will change. Uh, so let's uh, persevere. In the southwest region, the Minister of Marine and Blue Economy, Adigboye Gawiyotola, and the National Secretary of the APC have called on Muslim faithful to use the festivity to pray for a prosperous nation under President Bolatinubu. TVC News senior correspondent. Senior reporter, Rafiu Hamid reports. In Arabiji, the Minister of Marine and Blue Economy, 
Adigwega Tola and his wife, Kafayat Uyetola, observed their two rakat prayer at a rugby central heat. Congratulate all Muslims and brothers in Islam everywhere in the world for this wonderful day. The significance of today is the fact that we must be ready to make sacrifice. We must not make promises that we cannot fulfill. I wish all of us aid in the uh, We should ensure that our activities are still lost toward the fear of Almighty Allah. I wish all of us many happy Eid uh, al-Hadaha. And we should try to have patience and support our president. He meant what for us. Without our support, success may be a little bit difficult, though it is very tough now. The National Secretary of the APC, Ajibola Bashiru, who joined Muslim faithful at Toshogo Central Eid, called for tolerance and patience with the present administration. We urge our Nigerians to continue to be dedicated to piety, to be dedicated to integrity, to be dedicated to humility, and to continue to see our selflessness as all marks of sacrifice that will enable us to have a better society. We felicitate with all Muslims and also our friends who are not Muslims on this very special occasion. And we urge them to continue to pray for the success of the administration of President Bola Ahmed. We should continue to promote peace and tranquility because the purpose of, Salah, of, of this period is that uh, we should try to send our hands of fellowship to the needy. We know the situation of things in the country. The state governor observed the two rakat prayer in his own town a day. It's to be grateful to God for keeping us alive to see today. That is my message. And it should embalm the principle of our prophet, you know, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The governor had earlier sponsored a free train ride which brought Muslim faithful from Lagos to Russian State for the celebration. Rafiul Hamid, TVC News, Oshubo.